What's up? Happy New Year. Welcome to the channel, all that great stuff. I hope you're all doing great today while we're gonna be looking at some Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 attacks. Maybe two of my favorite strategies for each of the two Town Hall levels. I know you're in for some Clash of Clans, so let's go get it. My friends, my name is Echo, and I want to remind you guys to use code Echo inside of the shop. I can't remind you any more than having it as my base and above my head. It's in both places. Now, the war that we're looking at today is between Thunder Sabers 2 and Mixed Legends, where we have a couple of names that may look familiar to you, but we're really looking at the attacks against some of these players. My boy Warrior Tide called me over. He's like, Echo, we got some stuff. And I said, sure. I'll be right there. So we're gonna start out today with a Town Hall 10 attack against Clash with Eric, my friend. Sorry, buddy, that I'm showing your base, but it got tripled, so at least it's one that you were gonna rebuild anyway. Coming in with that giant in front, queen behind. Notice there's no healers, there's no queen walk, no queen charge going right here. What, what the attacker's trying to do, what Dimmy is trying to do, is come through and narrow down the base, utilizing his king and his queen. Queen up north, King in the east with the baby dragon and then he's gonna rush all the dragons into the core but remember you have the bat spells as well which is what makes this attack even more exciting bat spell actually you know what he may change direction as the queen's going around let's actually see where these dragons decide to go into the base by the way if you want to sub the channel and ring the bell that would be awesome let's go i was actually right by the way dragons and balloons are going in to the narrow top part of the base the question is where will the bats come in that's what we're gonna have to see i noticed only two wizard towers left on the base and one multi inferno so my anticipation is that that multi-target inferno is going to get a bat bomb right on top and there we go man i seem to really understand this game and know how to do it now i wish i actually did it better myself when i was trying but look at the value from those bats took out the multi inferno gonna take out a few other defenses nice job with the freeze spell although just a, a couple of bats are beating on that bow still got the value out of it the dragon's gonna be able to clean the rest of this up man i love drag bat at town hall 10 it doesn't get old it doesn't get stale it works all the time as long as you appropriately use your bats and free spells, easy to mess up. A split second and you're done. So make sure that you get it done right. And also, guys, on, on top of, of all this stuff, any strategy that you're working on in Clash of Clans, remember, you have to actually practice them in friendly challenges. If you don't do that, you can't expect to cook up an army for the first time, go into war and have it work. You need to practice. I mean, I practice all the time and I still fail all the time. So practice more than me but Dimmy coming through with one of the two town hall 10 attacks in this video yeah I'm actually showing multiple town hall levels in a video which is something I never really do but we're doing it today by the way this clan that we're looking at right now they do have a discord server you should come through check them out I haven't but maybe you'll want to I'll try to remember to link it down below but if I can't you could always look up executioner esports jman99 coming in with the sui lalo at town hall 10 yeah we, we say this all the time on the channel guys that lalo is the best strategy in clash of clans and that's talking about strategies across the board which means not that are just good at one town hall level but lalo works literally everywhere when you could lalo you should lalo when you could practice lalo you need to practice lalo because if you don't practice lalo you fail at lalo well you get the point guys it's probably the most difficult strategy to execute but it's also the strongest if you get good at executing it and of course if the base lends itself to lalo every once in a while you run into a base that's just really hard to do an appropriate lalo on and it will fail but remember when you are doing a lalo a laloon or a lava loon call it what you will you want to cut out a portion of the base as you saw the queen do right here then you send your lava hound and your balloons and they're going to go either in a clockwise or a counterclockwise direction around the base in this case they're going counterclockwise the balloons the pups the minions everything is going to go around from the top in the north all the way to the west and then down towards the south taking down the defenses along the way really works out beautifully when you get the pathing set right i love that right now that 
air sweeper is facing in a different direction none of the air sweepers are going to affect these balloons so that worked out gorgeously really well done by jman 99 on this one and the last air defense is just being tanked now by a few pups and down it goes so quick because you know why balloons are crazy strong they are super strong they are incredibly strong and the trick is keeping them alive right that's the main thing that you have to do oh by the way did you notice that these town hall 10 attacks are not using siege machines so this was a no siege war mixed war i believe there's even some town hall 8 stuff in here as well it's been a while since we made a town hall 8 video hmm i wonder town hall 8 videos do horribly on my channel just like town hall 13 videos why but then the Town Hall 8 ones usually do okay, while the Town Hall 13 ones still suck. Guys, remember, I'm live streaming over on Twitch every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be linking that down below in the comments section as a pinned comment. Plus, it's in the description. And also, you might want to join the Discord server. Mine or, you know, Execution Esports, whichever. Or both. That's going to be linked down below as the pinned comment as well. And for all of you here for the Town Hall 9 action, we got it right now with a little bit of a baby drag. It's not even, it's a queen charge baby dragon attack. So this strategy can be a little bit sketchy. You need to be really careful with it. You need to get the value. We spoke of value earlier. We're going to talk about it again. You need to get the value out of your queen charge. You're getting five healers on this attack. If you can't pull in at least 50% of the base with your queen walk or queen charge, it's not gonna be effective, right? The baby dragons are here for cleanup. They're not here to rip apart the base. Although there are eight balloons as well. So those baby dragons are kind of gonna be acting as tanks. So wall breaker, oh my gosh, it's a wall breaker fail. It didn't get into the wall. So look what happened here. Zach actually failed with the wall breakers, yet still has the jump spell. Now, ideally, Zach would have liked to use that jump spell in the core of the base, getting the queen even deeper inside, but that's not gonna happen. Notice there is a skeleton spell in the composition though as well, which is going to allow for these the skeletons to beat down the enemy queen. So his queen, our queen, the attacking queen, doesn't need to actually get to the defending queen. So here we go. Balloons are coming through. Town Hall is going to go down and then we're going to get some wall beating going on. This queen's going to have to get through that wall. It's going to take a little time since the wall breaker fail was a thing. That stinks, but you know what? It happens. But right now we have the queen beating on that wall, trying to get through quickly, quickly. Let's go get through that wall. Rage spell was used for in the effort of time. And now, boom, Lava Hound's coming in on top of that top air defense. Queen is going to make her way up as well, help take out that AD. That leaves one air defense behind. So basically, it's like a, a light Lalo with baby dragons cleaning up everything along the outside. It's a pretty sweet looking attack, guys. It's hard to execute, though, because you have to really get that value out of the charge. And as you saw, Zach struggled, but that shows the resiliency of this attack strategy. Final air defense going down. Looks like the queen took out all four air defenses and the clan castle troops worked out really nicely. Again, queen got that value, even though she had to take some time and pound through the wall. Her ability is still intact too. Baby dragons are cleaning stuff up. Another baby dragon, two wizards, a minion in the composition still to go. By the way, do you have this shirt? Mr. Beast, 40 million. He's probably like 100 million right now. The guy is a beast. I wish I knew some of his techniques to see success. But this attack is successful. Baby Dragon's cleaning up everything here on the back end. The Queen assisting as well. 14 seconds left and it's going to go down like melted butter. Here we are taking it down. The Queen for the win. Love her. Love the Queen. Best hero in the game. Quoted. Echo Gaming 2021. And the final attack done by Dev is going to be a Hog Rider attack. I love the skeletons in the composition. We have that centralized clan castle, which can sometimes be difficult to deal with. But we have the golem coming in, wizards behind. So a lot of tanking. Basically, what we're looking at here is a kill squad hog attack. Two golems. We have the wizards behind. Heroes are going to dive in behind that as well. Remember, one of those golem is still a Town Hall 9 level golem, but came out of that clan castle. So what's going to happen here? Just like the Lalo, as we spoke of earlier, the base is going to be cut out. There's going to be a section of it cut out so the hogs can run themselves around in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. You need to take care of the clan castle with this one because that dragon would rip all of your hog riders. So the queen, she's going to be moving a little bit slow here. 
being that uh, she's got to pop through some wall. Actually, she's going to run around the wall. And here come the hogs. Queen's actually going up to the top. I did not anticipate that. But what I like seeing here are four air defenses, the bows, the bomb tower, beautiful placement of that heal spell as well, because when the bomb tower goes down, the hogs are going to be within the heal. We should be seeing another heal spell right on top of that other bow. There it is. Beautifully done. Nicely placed, protecting against the giant bomb as well as against that expo. Queen still making her way around the base. Her ability was used. Where are we going to see the skelly spell? There it is right here to tank the uh, wizard tower, the Tesla, and the archer tower. It's also going to be uh, supported with that heal spell as well. Hog riders, man. Gotta love hog riders when attack is done well, and Dev got it done this time around. Much love, Warrior Tide, calling me down for another solid war, a mixture of Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. Reminding you guys to use code ECHO in any Supercell game. You guys doing that legit keeps me full-time on YouTube, because without it, that must be tough, family. But look at this strategy. Mm, it's a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and come back tomorrow for another one because that's right, I have them every single day. I appreciate you guys. Check out some of these before you go and be good.